ladies and gentlemen. Happy Sunday to everybody. Hope you all enjoyed that uh, episode of uh, Chef Jack Creations last night. Just another one, one thing I put together. Uh, I'm going to do more and more of those. Uh, I'm going to do more and more of those. Glad you all like it. Thanks for the new subscribers. I had no one fall off last night, though. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, my content's going to be pretty diverse. It's going to be Chef Jack heavy, trucking heavy. Any kind of trips I take heavy. Uh, that pretty little red car out there I got. I'm, I'm so happy about that car. I love that car. I went in and detailed it today a little bit. Uh, I'll do a video on that in a little while, I guess. It's a collector car, guys. It's one of 78 as far as the color combination goes. The color as well as the interior. Uh, they only made like uh, right around 1600 G8 GXPs in 2009. And then it's broken down into how many models and, and if it had a manual transmission, a sunroof, whatever. And the red color ones, the way mine's specced, it's like 1 in 78, I think. So it's a collector's car. I'm going to keep it. It only has like 51,000 miles on it. Uh, you don't need all that crazy horsepower that the ch Challengers and Chargers have. You don't need all that crazy horsepower. You just, that's all you need right out there. It's only... Uh, it's 415 horsepower, 415 torque, uh, 0 to 60 is 4.5 seconds, like I said before. Top speed is 175, that's really all you need. You don't need any more horsepower than that. Um, I would need to fill it up full gas to see what the uh, fuel mileage is. Most of the time I don't play with it, I just go drive it normal. But uh, it does have a big, big fuel tank, which is awesome. So you should be able to get 400, 450 miles out of the tank. It's a 19 gallon tank, so you should be able to use about 18, 18 and a half gallons of the tank. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good deal. I'm only, I haven't filled it up yet. I've had it since January. Um, I put 20 bucks into it a couple times. It's all done. So, of course, I keep it at the house. I don't take it to work. I bring my truck home from work. All right, so if y'all like those uh, Chef Jack creations, talk about that now. Uh, let me know. I'll keep doing them. I'm going to try something uh, next weekend. I'm going to do something different. Probably involve uh, chicken. So last uh, few, I've done the steaks on the grill. Uh, just did the beef last night. My own take on uh, oriental uh, beef and vegetables. Uh, General Tso's style. So uh, we're going to do uh, next week, I'll probably do something with chicken. Probably be oven based. It probably won't be grill based. I like that oven pretty well. And then uh, the rice will have you. All right. Y'all have a go and hope y'all enjoying what's left of your weekend. And uh, I got the rest of the day and then a three quarter Monday and I have to go right back at it. So I'll be careful like I always am. God bless all y'all. And uh, this coronavirus thing is scaring the hell out of everybody. Of course, I'll have to talk about that for a minute. Uh, down here in Boynton. There's no toilet paper, paper towels anywhere in any Walmart or what have you. Uh, where I go out of town to, uh, they're rationing it. It's like two packages of toilet paper per customer per purchase. Uh, it's no more than a bad cold, really. Um, CDC is also playing it up, saying that we'll have eventually 200 million affected by it that will have it. Uh, the vaccine is a year, year and a half out. What will happen though, guys and girls, what will happen is they'll get a vaccine for it in a year and a half and something else will come out. And then I'll have to get another vaccine for that. But uh, Don't go into panic mode. Wherever y'all live in the United States, don't go into panic mode and go buy toilet paper. Toilet paper is not going to save you from the coronavirus. This is crazy. And the sanitizer, the hand sanitizer, don't bother with it. The best course of action be like me. I'll just say be like me. I'm Howard Hughes. Okay, it's funny. I get laughed at sometimes about it, but it works. Every time you use the restroom, wash your hands with soap and water. Whether it's e either one, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for a good 30, 40 seconds. Get you a paper towel. Go ahead and uh, turn off your water with the paper towel. Grab the door handle with the paper towel. Any door handles you go into place of business, grab it with your shirt or a cloth. 
do not use your bare hand and you won't get sick. I haven't had the flu, guys, since I've been doing that. In 20 years or more, I have not had the flu. I don't get the flu shot every year, and I'm 50 now. All right? Grab door handles with your shirt or cloth whenever you go out. Don't touch a door handle barehanded. That's my advice to y'all. And like I said, I haven't had the flu in over 20 years. I can't even remember the last time I had it. I know it's been 20 years plus. But it's because I act like Howard Hughes. I wash my hands frequently. Same thing in the prep with the uh, food I, I make. I wash them quite often. I don't cross-contaminate. So that's just advice to y'all about the coronavirus. Don't bare hand touch doorknobs or anything like that. And wash your hands after you use the restroom. Whichever, whichever version it is you do in the restroom. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 30 seconds. I think 20 seconds is not enough. Hot water, soap, all right? And put your uh, paper towels and what have you. Close off the water. Open up the door when you exit the facilities. Do that and you'll be fine. God bless all y'all. Jack out.